All right, uh, Peter, let's start very simply. When did you first hear about this story, and what makes you think it would be a good movie? Three years ago, ran into Brian Hayes Curry, a friend of mine who's an actor, and he's been in a couple of my movies, and I said, what are you up to? He said, I'm going to write a screenplay based on my friend's father. I said, what is it? He said, black concert pianist named Don Shirley, 1962. He had His record company was sending him on a tour of the South. He was nervous about going. So he went to the Copacabana nightclub in New York, hired the toughest bouncer, Italian guy with a sixth grade education who was racist himself, to drive him. And the two of them hit the road and somehow, after two months of driving around, they became lifelong friends. I was like, you're kidding. That's this is true? Absolutely. I said, I, 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 how do I get in? <laughs> and that's it? That's how you... How I actually did you imagine call, the... I called him back a month later because he, he, he wasn't pitching it to me. He was just telling me. And then a month later, I kept thinking, and I called him, I said, what's going on with that story? He goes, what story? He said, the, the, the screenplay you told me about, which one? Is Concert pianist. And the Italian guy goes, oh, uh, we haven't started it. I said, can I do it with you? I, I love this story. It's, it's such a good story. So we started writing it the next Monday. It's a road movie. That means uh, a lot of things happens, but it has to work mostly on the humanity, the friendship, the, uh, the connection between the characters. Yeah. How uh, did you make that cinematic? Um, well, they, uh, I had a lot to draw from, just audio tapes of both men discussing each other, and they really loved each other. You know, in the way it was, it was uh, presented here, like, Don, Tony Lip had the highest respect for Don Shirley, and Don Shirley came gru begrudgingly to respect Tony Lip, and they did become friends. So I knew that was there, but mainly it's, you know, when you have uh, Mahershala Ali and, and Viggo Mortensen, they're going to, you know, find the, the nuance, the little stuff. And that's what they did. They, they, it was the tiny little things that brought them together. And, and also, that's the things that make you laugh in this movie. How did you uh, uh, come up with uh, uh, Vigo as uh, the Italian nice ogre and, uh, and, uh, and Marshala as the uh, genius, uh, piano, piano genius? Well, How did that come up? Vigo, I love Vigo. I think he's the greatest. And I would cast him if I was making Mary Queen of Scots. You know, he's just, he could do anything. Um, and so I called him, I, I said, what about this role? He said, I don't know if I can do that. I said, what are you talking about? You did, you know, Eastern Promises. If you could do that, this is a walk in the park. And I finally convinced him. And then once I had Viggo Mortensen, I realized, well, since we have Viggo, we could get anybody. Uh, because every actor wants to work with Viggo. And I thought, who's the greatest one out there? I thought, what about Mahershala Ali? He's unbelievable. So, you know, went to him. And once we got those two, it's just, you got a good movie. Huh. You have to have them dive into an America that is very fractured, very divided, very yeah. uh, uh, racist. Uh, how was that to dive into this world? It was, it was I, I knew that it would resonate because unfortunately things haven't changed here. You know, I wish I could show this movie and say, can you believe it used to be like that 50 years ago? But it's still like that. It's different, but it's still like that. And um, we were all aware of that, you know, Mahershala, me, Octavia, Spencer, who's our executive producer at Vigo. So we basically opened up the script to everybody. And I was always asking Mahershala, I said, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong here? And Mahershala has a lot of opinions. And, you know, I was making sure it wasn't like it, it, there was no imbalance, because to me, this is a movie about both guys changing, not one changing the other. And he helped me keep it on point. I remember seeing the movie in Toronto and the crowd went crazy about yeah. it. And, and I saw a couple of worlds behind me. There was this lady crying and saying, it hasn't changed. It's still the same. It hasn't changed. And, and the, the relevance, do everybody notice that? Do everybody, does it ring differently because of the time we live in? It's, it's uh, it, I think people, yeah, I think right now, because we're on a downturn of racial relations, I think it's hitting people more uh, uh, than it might have, 10 years ago. And um, it, it, we had a couple screenings down south in New Orleans, and we had one in, uh, in Virginia, where people were really moved. And it, it was more of that world. And I had, a, I had a couple guys come out, this one man came out and, and just sobbing, sobbing. On, it, Vigo and I were standing off to the side at, waiting to go on stage. And this guy came out and he just sobbing and, you know, just really hit home with some people down there. Hmm. What is the role of movies and, and storytelling in general in, uh, in changing this? I think, the, I think movies could make a very positive change. I, I, I think they can affect people in a, for good. And I, I hope that this movie does. It's, I know it's not going to change the world, but I think it's going to be like, 
in, uh, pointing in the right direction of changing the world, which is people realizing that no matter how far apart we get, we're all the same. We're all the same. And you just got to cut the walls down and realize, you and I, are you kidding me? You and I are like the same guy. Everybody's the same. Black, white, you know, female, male, we all have the same thing. You just got to cut through all the baloney. Uh, everybody was saying that Peter has changed, not doing comedies, not working as a brother anymore. It's not true. I mean, this movie is a comedy also, and there is the same kind of humor that we have in Dumb and Dumber, maybe a little more yeah. smart. But uh, would, you, would you agree on that? Do you say that it's not that different? Um, it, it wasn't harder for me, you know, in that way. You know, it, it did feel uh, the same, and it is very comical, you know, um, but it, it is a more dramatic thing than I have done, but it certainly got tons of laughs in it. Uh, and I didn't find it, th n you know, that different than making, you know, something about Mary. Hmm. What kind of reaction do you get from people besides the uh, the emotion? Um, you know, I, hopefulness. That's the thing. You know, people are hopeful. You know, when they see it, they've said they come out feeling good. And you don't expect to see a race movie, a movie about race, and, and, and come away feeling positive. And that's w what we were trying to do here because that's the truth. These guys who were complete opposites became lifelong friends, and that's... Hard, you know. That's you, we. I want you to see how that happened. Hmm. Can Vigo eat really twenty-eight hot dogs? And can Marshala plays Beethoven like he plays in the film? Uh, Vigo gained forty-five pounds for this role, and he did eat fifteen hot dogs that day while we were shooting. And uh, did you uh, finish the other ones? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Mahershala, uh, he played a lot of the piano, but there was a guy named Chris Bowers who's a star. Who would come in and do the the heavy lifting, you know, the Chopin's and the stuff? But um, Herschel did get going. He he took lessons for a long time, and he could get us off to the races. But obviously, you can't teach a guy in you know three four months how to play the piano the way Chris Bowers can. What would you like people to keep from your film, Monsieur? Um, I, I want them to I, I want them to come away with a sense of hope that as bad as it looks right now. Uh, if we all talk to each other, we can come together and get past this. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Thank you very much. Thank you.